वेलकम बैक गाइज सो इफ यू लुक एट इन लास्ट वीडियो आई स्पोक अबाउट एड मेथड एंड ऑफर मेथड इन वेरी डिटेल्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू वेयर यू शुड यूज ऑफर एंड वेयर यू शुड यूज एड मेथड यू विल सी दैट अदर मेथड एलिमेंट पिक पुल रिमूव लाइक हाउ इट वर्क वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो इफ यू लुक एट एज ए टोल्ड इन माई लास्ट वीडियो यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द क्यू बट द प्रीफर्ड वन विच पीपल they mostly use as a linked list okay it's up to you you can use linked list you can use dq you can use array blocking queue linked blocking queue or priority queue or some other classes okay it's up to you but my suggestion is please use linked list so here uh, you know that when you use the implementations of linked list which means whatever method you have in this interface queue interface this guy will have the implementations of all the method that is the reason we are able to use it okay if this guy link list will not have the implementations of this queue method you cannot use this you cannot use this link list here right now uh, we have a reference of queue and the object of link list and i have added some data okay i have added 10 10 add offer offer so i have used add method also i have used offer method also both will does the same work here since it is a linked list if it is the linked blocking queue or add a blocking queue then uh, based on capacity uh, add will fail but offer will not fail it will not add but it will just return false right but add will throw exceptions now look at here so i am just on this queue i am calling element so i am calling element okay and one more thing uh, before that let me print the actual queue so that you can exactly understand what happens this is the actual queue so now just run this program first and try to understand line by line by looking the output see this is your actual queue okay you have data 10 10 100 300 400 right now on the actual queue you called element so what will do element when you call queue dot element okay this the queue dot element will pick up the first object from the queue okay let me change the data so that you will not get uh, any confusion whether it is a first one or second one so i have changed that yes q will allow duplicacy okay so now you can see that this is your actual queue when you call this queue dot element when you perform that method queue dot element on the reference of queue you can see that in this print queue dot element when i am printing queue dot element Uh, and then i am printing q so again q dot element method if you look at i am calling under uh, print statement why because i wanted to know the return type of this method i wanted to print the return type of this method so return type of this this method is the object which is nothing but of type integer so when you call q dot uh, element it will return the first object from the actual q and then i am printing this so i am print after returning that is there any change is happening with the queue is there any change is happening with the queue data no because this element will just return the first object and it will not remove from the queue so if you look at after the actual queue even though you have performed element your queue has no data change data is not getting changed now you have a pick method so the pick also it works in the same way okay here everything will look same how it is different with each other that also i will tell you but here first try to understand see pick also what happens is it will pick the head data okay it will pick the head data but it will not remove from the queue it will not remove from the queue okay which means if you look at it picked the first data and it did not remove from the queue it did not remove from the queue the pick also works in the same way yes there is some difference which i will tell you after some time okay there is some difference i'll tell you between pick and element pick also remove the ten but did not remove from the queue so queue has no impact now pull method see if you look at this pull method i am again calling the pull method in the print ln statement and then i'm printing the pull data so pull what it will do it will remove your data so when you call pull okay uh, basically what happens is ten got ten got returned from the queue and after pull this is your queue size this is your queue data so you can see that now 10 got removed so you have 20 100 304 this is the pull now there is a difference between pull and remove 
there is also difference between pull and remove similarly there is a difference between element and pick both does the same job if you look at both just pick up the first element it will not remove then why two method okay still we have a two method again pull and remove both will remove the data from the head the first data but still why two method there is a difference okay so you can see that pull uh, pull actually remove the data 10 the remove also when i print here print element q dot remove it removed the data the head data and then you have this is the this is the q after that okay so hope hope you are clear with four methods the pull and remove will remove the data will remove the head data whereas pick an element will not remove the head data it will just return the data here this this element pull and remove will return the data and it will remove the data that's how i have shown you in the output now to know the difference between all these four method i have designed one queue another queue implemented linked list and i have not stored any data no data it's like empty size there is no data in the queue now you will come to know how this works so on the empty queue if you call queue dot element though this guy will not remove the data from the queue that we have seen that but when you call queue dot element it will throw the exceptions no such element exceptions this guy will throw the exceptions queue dot element will throw the exceptions right if i run that you can see that it is throwing the exceptions from line number this is my class name so you see whenever you are analyzing the stack trace please go to the class which you have written so example two you have written click on that click on that see it is throwing here this guy is throwing exceptions no such element exceptions because q is empty this is the difference but if you comment this line this will throw the exception so of course the your program will break here when you call this method pick method peak also does the same thing it removes the i mean it return the first object but will not remove the data from the queue now when you call the pick this guy will not throw the exceptions that is the difference so when you call the pick okay let me comment other things otherwise you will get confused because of lot of data is coming so now look at here this is the pick it is null why I am saying that this is the pick because now I have put a demarcations line I have commented the element this was throwing exceptions no such element exceptions now I have a pick so whatever output will come after this line you will feel like it is a pick output right see here it will give you null this guy will not throw the exceptions that is the difference between pick and element so in interview if somebody will ask you say that if the queue if the queue is empty or queue has no data in that case you will get no such element exceptions when you call element method but when you call pick method it will return the object as a null but you will not get the exceptions that is the difference now same difference same we have applicable in case of pull and remove so pull will what happen pull will not give you any exceptions when you call pull method this method this will not give you the exceptions this also so the di first difference is uh, the first similarities between pull and remove is both removes the data from the stack uh, sorry from the queue both removes the head data this pick an element will not remove the head data it will just return the head data but this two guy pull and remove will return the head data as well as will remove the head data that is the difference clear now again here the pull method if the queue is empty pool will give you null okay pool will give you null but the remove the remove method when there is no data when the queue is empty it will throw the exceptions no such element exceptions this guy will give you no such element exceptions again this is your class name example to right click on 40 see it is this guy is giving the exceptions that's the difference guys that's the difference so if somebody will ask you tell that element when the queue is empty it will give you no such element exceptions pick when the queue is empty still it will turn null there is no exceptions both guy will not remove the data from the queue pull when the queue is empty this will return null okay there is no exceptions remove 
will give the exceptions no such element exceptions this both guy remove and pull when there is a data in the queue it will remove the data from the queue the head data from the queue which we have seen that here with this we are done with queue in the java thank you guys thank you for watching this